See, I think the, the thing which will strike people is that you just seem to be amazing at breaking taboos. You know, there are things old people don't talk about. I think that in many families, there are two sorts of children. One lot grow up taking what their parents believe and believing it. And one, usually individual, grows up asking questions, is the freak. And I was the freak. I grew up asking questions because I knew, I knew when I was 15 that I didn't believe in God. And they all did. I knew when I was 16 that I was going to vote Labour when I voted. And they all voted Conservative. And so I sort of went underground. Where did it come from? My first love was a very open-minded man. Hmm. And I owe a tremendous amount to him. It, en it ended badly. He ended up breaking my heart. But in the five years before he did that, I now realize we had a very good time together. And he taught me the hell of a lot about life, about questioning things, about accepting people for exactly what they were. There was a thing that I've always remembered as being vitally important that I got from him. He came to see me when I was at Oxford to cheer me up right at the beginning. We went for a pub call. He said, we're going to meet an old friend of mine. You're going to like him very much. He said, he didn't say he's gay because we didn't say gay then. He said, he's a fancy that he is lovely. He's so intelligent and so funny. So we went to see him and he had a bad cold and he was upstairs in his bedroom in bed. And we went up to his bedroom and there he was in bed with a bottle of whiskey. We got into bed on either side of him, Tony and me, and we lay there drinking whiskey. And I thought, I mean, I only just knew what a homosexual was. I thought, here I am in bed with a homosexual. Drinking whiskey with Tony. This is bliss. This is heaven. <laughs> this, you know, it instantly made me accept people for what they were.